How did you end up getting caught? If you seem to have... 2009. My business was plateauing and declining at the same time, I guess you could say. Well, declining. And uh, I was just trying to hold it together while I was trying to get out of the business at the same time. But there was just so many moving parts that it was hard to get out. I'd had millions fronted on the street, a few million in inventory, prepaid orders. There's so many moving parts that I couldn't just collect everything at once and walk away. So it was a struggle that I faced on a daily basis. But uh, my margins were shrinking. My customers were complaining my price was getting too high. So I decided to t take a ride out to California and I uh, reaching out, trying to figure out where all the new weed was coming from. Because I didn't know anything about California. I only knew about Canada. There's a lot of growers out there growing boutique weed, really nice stuff. And uh, I decided to start sourcing from there. So I set up a little warehouse, a little bit of transportation to get to the East Coast. But it wasn't professional transportation. I hired this uh, female mountain biker, Missy Giovi. She's one of the fastest mountain bikers at the time. And I hired her to drive the load. I paid her 60000 to drive it. But she tricked me and subbed the job out to her massage therapist for 3000 Didn't tell her what was in the back of the truck. Or, you know, just tried. She got caught speeding, pulled over, searched the truck, put GPS unit on it the truck they filed the truck to my property in upstate new york where they found me and arrested me found a million and a half in my well between both my houses a couple million in cash and uh they wanted me to work undercover but i wouldn't do it they just they said you have a small window to cooperate nobody knows we're here just get on with your life and i didn't do it so they arrest me throw me in jail I respect that, though. Yeah, they got bailed out. They were following me around, trying to see who I was, who I knew, what I was doing. I had a lot of money in the streets. I had to try to connect, collect that, and I'd tie up loose ends. It was difficult with all that heat on me at the moment. Because the American gangster, do you remember, <clears throat> they went to the boxing, and I think she bought him a mink coat, and that was the moment they says, who is he? Ringside, 50 grand coat. And that's what drew attention to him. It's mad how, because they're always watching one mistake and it's caught like you, flew under a radar, had it perfect, but yet one mistake and it wasn't from you. Well, it was from you as well because you should have been more on it with the driver to make sure they were going. Instead, you had someone else. But what was the feeling like when you get caught? Because you're such a, I don't know if that's an act, like you're so laid back. You're like a laid back character. Has that always been? Yeah, I've your, always been really Your presence like, yeah. kind of, you don't give away much, if yeah. you know what I mean. That's just, I don't know if that's. No, it's what, true. You wouldn't know that I was in the business. No you way. wouldn't know what the fuck you were doing anything because you don't give much away. Just look, look at me. You can't figure out what I have nothing to say. I have a haircut, black <laughs> shirt. I'm just, just fucking, what the fuck? And a few fucking 10 out of 10 girls on your phone book. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I was a quiet guy and I still am. And I don't even do anything wrong right now. But you take the same principles from the street and you apply them to the legitimate world, it's the same stuff. You stay quiet. You do slow, steady wins every day. Slow, steady business. Take care of all the people around you. Suppliers, customers. Put everybody ahead of yourself. You know, that's how you really win. Be a man of your word. My, my word is more important than all the money in the world. Like, I don't owe anybody a penny and I feel good about that. Did the police come through your door or did they watch you first before they no. jumped on you? No, they just picked me up right there. Picked me up and they, they searched my house illegally. They had a weak case. I fought them for a couple of years. Then I got rearrested for laundering money to pay my lawyer. I couldn't, I didn't have the money and they froze my bank account so I couldn't pay my lawyer. They allegedly say I was laundering money to pay my lawyer. I didn't get charged with that because at a later date, I, uh, the feds wanted me to work undercover for them and set people up, but eventually I made a deal where I decided to basically set myself up. So I went out in the woods in shackles because so I was rearrested a second time for laundering money to pay my lawyers, allegedly. And uh, the deal I made with them the second time is, if you really want money, I'll get you some money. 
That's when I went out in shackles in the woods. They escorted me, and I dug up close to $10 million in gold bars I buried. I gave it to them. How much less did you get off your sentence? I don't know. It's hard to say. If I had to guess, maybe eight, nine, ten years. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. If I had to guess eight years, is that worth it? One million a year? Yeah. Your freedom's everything for me. People would have probably done the eight years for the ten million, but for me, money can always be made. Time can never always be. Time can never be bought. It can never be replaced. Time can never be replaced, but like I say, money can always be made. So uh, for me, it's the right decision. If it's your last ten million, it's a difficult one, but for me, 100%. If you're getting eight years off your sentence, fucking give it up, man. Ten million, no problem. I'll make that back when I'm out next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. what was that feel? So, who would they, who would they want you to give up when you get caught? They want you to just keep working. <clears throat> buy it from who you buy it from and sell it to whoever you sell it to. And then they do all their work behind the scenes. Would you have had to wear a wire or anything? I didn't even ask. I didn't even get that far. So yeah, I just know it's basically, basically the way it works is I would have taken that load and went and sold it to wherever. Maybe brought them the money back and then they would have watched that person for a while and got them at a later date. I don't know how. They have all different strategies. Mm-hmm. But for me, it was... Uh, now, granted, I had to sit down. I told them what I did. did. You just can't lie to them. It's like you can't lie, but you don't have to tell them everything. That's my deal in my contract. Basically, tell us what you did. Give us this much money, and that's it. And they still sentenced me to a little less than two years in prison. But well, I got, yeah, I got, I did almost two years. What was that like in prison for the first night? Mm, well, it depends. When the first time I got arrested, it was relaxing because nobody was calling me. I didn't have any. I didn't have to be a boss. I didn't have to take care of things. I just passed out. But eventually. I didn't mind the alone time. I just didn't like the food. If there was good food, that would be like going to a retreat, right? Get your mind right, work out, reset, think about what you want to do in life, think about your purpose. Keep your gold bars. Fuck yeah. it, I don't want to leave here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, you know, it's, I can make money back. I just need a good team. That's all it is. It's The thing is, it wasn't the money that I lost my team. I lost a good team of people. I'll never, I can't go back to those people, but we had a good operation. I had to weed through hundreds of people over the years to get a core team of people that knew how to think like me and execute when I wasn't there the way I'd want it to be done. And trust? Trust, yeah. Trust is a key one, eh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, trust. Yeah, just to be able to front somebody a million dollar load knowing they'll come back yeah. in a week, that's hard to do now. Yeah. I have to have lawyers for little $10,000 deals. I'm like, what the fuck is this? You know, it's just like people are chasing money down for. 3000 bucks right now. I have somebody somebody that owes me for a contract $3,000. Are you serious? Like, I just, I'm not used to that, but it's okay. 